Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at APIs and how do we let LLMs like ChatGPT use those APIs very naturally. So first of all, APIs or REST APIs, they're everywhere. So if you have, uh, for example, an e-commerce store, uh, you might have an API to track recent orders or to even make an order, which is great if you want to programmatically, you know, make queries. But what if you want your LLM, you know, ChatGPT, Claude, Cursor, you want to be able to type in something like, how many orders came in the last 24 hours in these four states? Just type it in naturally and have the LLM craft the query and send it to your API, get a response, respond to you in natural language. Well, you can do that thanks to something called MCP or Model Context Protocol. And what I'll be showing you today is this tool. It's called OpenAPI 2 MCP. It's a free tool. You can find it on Hugging Face Spaces. Uh, find the link below in the video description. And what it does is it takes in any API that you might have and converts that to an MCP server that an LLM can interact with. So I'll, I'll show you an example, you know, just to kind of uh, explain how it works, but this is very general. So this is the space or this is the tool. And the first thing you should do is you should just go ahead and sign in with Hugging Face. So if you sign in with your Hugging Face account, uh, you'll have to authorize certain permissions, but it's free. You know, you don't have to, uh, to, to pay anything for this. Um, and then what you can do is you can start by putting in the open API spec for your URL. So open API is a standard way of describing APIs. So once you have an API, it, it, it looks something like this. So uh, you can basically have a list of all the endpoints and you have some information about every endpoint, you know, what it kind of resp uh, what it expects and so on. Um, and so you type in the path, the URL, uh, to that open API JSON kind of endpoint here. So first of all, you do that. Then you type in the base URL at which all API requests are made. So in this case, this is the base URL. It would be your server slash API slash version or you know something like that. Um, and then optionally, you can filter the API endpoints. So first of all, let's. I'm not going to filter anything initially. Let's just see all of the endpoints that are found. So great, I found 19 different endpoints at this. Uh, at this JSON, uh, at this kind of, you know, at this open API JSON. Now these are endpoints that relate to pets, uh, store inventory, users, and so on. Maybe I don't want everything. Maybe I just want, for example, pets. So let's go ahead and filter by pets. So now you can see only eight endpoints are found. Great. And then optionally, you can type in a, a, a name for this MCP space that we're going to create. I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna skip that part here. So now it created a new space for me, a new MCP space. So what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and click on this. And you can see the space is in the process of building and then starting, so it'll start momentarily. Um, the, the key thing here is, first of all, um, you can change the name of this space. You don't have to call it this. You could have, we could have given it a different name. Uh, but the key thing actually is this is MCP enabled. Okay, so what this means is, well, first of all, I, be, I have this kind of tool that's been created, which is great. Now I have, you can see all of these different endpoints. I can actually test some of these endpoints. So I can see, for example, I want to get pet ID zero. Uh, okay, so maybe that doesn't exist. Maybe I'll try one. Okay, great. So I have a pet one. You can see here, it's uh, some information about this. Now that is if I want to do programmatic, uh, programmatic, uh, programmatically access this. That's not what I want here. What I want here is I want to actually use this via MCP. And so you can see here, all of the endpoints are now converted to MCP tools, which my, my, my LLM like ChatGPT or Cursor can use. And all I have to do is I have to copy this MCP config and I'm gonna use Cursor just as an example. So I'm gonna open up Cursor then, I'll go to Cursor settings, uh, tools, MCP tools. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this here. So let me paste this. And now if I go back, you'll see here, it's found these tools enabled, great. So now I can do something like, I can ask it a question. Uh, what kind of pet is pet one? All right, and it knows what tool to call. So it's using this tool, it's gonna run this, it's gonna get some result, and it tells me, hey, pet one is a dog and a status is available. If you need more details, let me know. So I could have called any of the tools that were described here, and you can see for every tool, it's figured out, you know, it's automatically extracted what that tool does, a description, any sort of defaults, um, you know, get, uh, get, let's do it. Let's take a look at this one, for example, um, uh, find by status. So I can, I can, um, I can, it's figured out that, Hey, uh, I can retrieve pets by status. These are the different choices that are available. All of that information has been obtained from the API and now is available to my LLM so that I can now use, uh, use it for things like this. So, um, that's it. 
very simple tool. You can go back and you can use this for any API endpoint, any RESTful API endpoint that you have, convert it to an MCP space, and then that MCP space you can plug in to your LLM. All right, good luck, happy building.